kind of close to the education space and I understand some of the pain points that the teachers go through. At the beginning of the pandemic, especially, a lot of teachers were forced into technologies they weren't used to using. A lot of schools didn't have the budgets to implement technology appropriately. And that's where my focus is, right, is from the teacher's perspective or the administrator's perspective rather than from the student side. So a lot of the technology such as Canvas, things like that, it's all focused towards student. And the administration is, is somewhat desperate. They use desperate systems. I mean, you, you look at a platform like Canvas, I believe you need to use three or four different applications as a teacher or administrator to get to get through the information that you need about a lot of students. So that's where the current landscape is today. And, and a lot of it is because Blackboard and Canvas, these were all early adopters in, in the education space. So a lot of it was built using the technology of the day, but instead of improving upon that base technology, they just added to it. And then you have the flip side of that where you have Google Classroom, where it's a free tool that schools can utilize, but that is also a very desperate system. You, you have to use Google Classroom, you have to use Google Meets, you have to use Google Sheets and, and all sorts of Google Forms, you know, and the list goes on and on just to kind of create a cohesive system. But that really leaves the students scrambling to find out where they're supposed to be doing their work from or the teachers popping through all these different screens and trying to create a cohesive experience out of something that really is not meant to be that.